I'm just here at Samson's place programming up his new TriStar so this is a good opportunity to do some training on how to program these up what we've done is um, to get it to this stage uh, we've turned the pump on and as it started to prime up we've hit this run stop button to stop it from operating but to keep the power to the main board here the way these pumps operate um, is that they will prime up for a time that you program so it comes set to two minutes at full speed so that's 3000 rpm um, you may not like this one here doesn't need to prime up for that long so you can adjust that it'll then drop down to speed three here uh, for it's set to five minutes but you can up that time so what we've done at Samson's places we've up this to an hour and a half I think at 2000 rpm to run the uh, the TPC around the bottom of the pool after it's gone out through that time period it then drops down to V1 speed speed one speed one is the uh, I guess the energy saving speed hang on a second is the energy saving speed here so it's down at 1250 so it's ticking over the pool enough to, to, to produce chlorine but it's not going to run the cleaner around the bottom mind you the cleaner doesn't need to run around the bottom for eight hours a day uh, two lots of one and a half hours would be more than enough here uh, so what we'll do is we'll show you how to program that we need to press and hold the display function button we press and hold that comes up in config you can see here priming 100 means priming for a minute I'm actually going to turn that down to 30 seconds because a minute is more than enough and we've got a slightly smaller filter here so we don't want to put high pressure through it for uh, very long then you can see V1 here is flashing hope you can see that so that's set to 1250 that's got no time on it because it's just sitting there to uh, once V3 is done uh, speed 3 speed 1 kicks in and it just goes forever so it'll get cut off by the chlorinator turning off so speed 2 speed 2 only activates when you press the button so that could be used for something like a water feature uh, if you want to do a vacuum of the pool for instance or give the pool a backwash at a certain speed um, you would want to run speed 2 in fact I think we'll up this but it's not quite enough to give the pool a really good a filter a really good hard backwash so we might up that to a 2800 and the next one uh, you can set it to run so you could set it to run for four hours so say you wanted a water water feature or your um, waterfall to run for a couple of hours while you're having dinner you can press v2 it'll run for that time and then it'll turn back to v1 but as I said v2 only kicks in when you physically press that button there's no timing on it at all next one is uh, the main speed this is the 2000 rpm that we set this to which is enough to run the cleaner around the TPC around the bottom of the pool perfectly and we've got it set for an hour and a half an hour and a half twice a day is three hours worth of cleaning time so that's that's enough to keep the pool clean and pretty much that's it so we're at stop press back to run pump will energize It'll prime up. So. Okay. so it'll prime up. You watch this. It'll run for 30 seconds. And you can see it says 3,000 there and back. So that's its priming speed. It's full back. Just take a picture here of the pressure gauge. So our pressure gauge there got to about 110 on priming. We don't want to run it for too long on prime, obviously, at 110. But on our cleaning speed, you're sitting at just under 50, which is perfect. And just take a shot there. We're on 2000 RPM, which is speed 3. And that'll run for an hour and a half to run the cleaner around the bottom of the pool. Still plenty of good flow there. Now, that doesn't need to have the water right to the top. Um, if we were running 50 mil right the way through and running a much bigger filter, that would fill right to the top but because we're running a smaller filter and 40 mil out which is 
40 mil out takes about maximum 300 litres per minute then we're not going to have the flow through the hair and lint pot to completely fill up that's no drama whatsoever the pump's happy it's not straining it's not suck, uh, not, it's not searching for water and our chlorinator here is full to the brim no air bubbles or anything in the chlorinator so it's set up perfectly well so there we go training for us and a little video for Samson thanks guys see you later